Welcome back to FameFinder. Explosive backlash at Invictus Games. Greetings, viewers. We have an exclusive breaking story today about serious backlash against the Invictus Games and its royal founders. Over 350 UK veterans have announced they will not attend September's major event in Dusseldorf due to a major financial controversy. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment below. For those unaware, Prince Harry co-founded the Invictus Games back in 2014 as an international adaptive multi-sport event for wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and veterans. It's become hugely successful, giving competitors a chance to showcase their skills, courage, and determination in the face of injury or illness. Despite stepping down from royal duties in 2020, Harry remains passionate about Invictus as its patron. The upcoming 2023 event was awarded to the UK, with Dusseldorf as the host city following a bidding process. However, documents reveal that Harry's private company, Travelist, was hired to help lobby the UK government to win the hosting rights for Invictus 2023. And get this, Travelist was paid a cool $26 million in taxpayer funds for their advisory role in securing the bid for the UK over competing nations. That's over 30 million. Naturally, this exorbitant payout has raised major eyebrows among veterans groups and the wider public. Joining Harry on the Travelist board is none other than Johnny Mercer, a former minister for veterans who championed the Invictus bid during his government tenure. Veterans see this lucrative deal as a clear conflict of interest and believe it to be cronyism at its finest between Harry and Mercer. In reaction to these allegations, over 350 former servicemen and women have signed an open letter announcing they refuse to participate in or attend the September Invictus Games in Germany. While they continue to support the event's founding principles, they cannot in good conscience take part given how Harry and Mercer have seemingly cashed in. According to the letter, the veterans argue that $26 million could have been far better spent on health care, housing, or employment support for those still struggling years after leaving service. They feel used and exploited, believing Harry and Mercer have lined their own pockets with taxpayer cash earmarked to better the lives of injured vets. Meanwhile, neither Travelist, Harry, nor Mercer have provided satisfactory explanations for why such an exorbitant advisory fee was reasonable given they have no track record in bidding or event management. Their responses have done little to quell the growing backlash, even from military families in the U.S., who see this as yet another money grab by the Sussexes. Organizers of the upcoming Invictus Games say they are disappointed by the boycott, but respect competitors' decisions. However, this scandal could do serious and lasting damage to the hard-earned reputation of Invictus if not handled with appropriate transparency and accountability going forward. Public trust, once broken, can turn many who would champion the cause against it unless restorative action is taken. This includes being upfront about where exactly the $26 million actually went, what services were provided to warrant such a vast payment, and why others weren't considered for the contract. Silence or dismissal of the controversy at this point will likely only deepen resentment felt by many veterans groups in both the U.S. and U.K. In summary, an event started with noble aims of empowering the injured now risks being severely damaged due to what is seen as profiteering at the expense of those very veterans and taxpayers. Public trust is hard won yet easily lost, and only time will tell if Harry, Mercer, and Invictus organizers will do the right thing to win back both financiers and competitors, or if irreparable harm has already been caused. This controversial episode is sure to reignite broader debates on how the Sussexes continue to leverage their royal brand power for large personal payouts on both sides of the pond. Don't forget to subscribe to Fame Finder, like this video, and leave a comment below.